Hi guys and welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. This is a quick video just to have a look at uh, Civil Warrior, which is, uh, I'm just going to pop in the screen right here. Now, I don't really know what to make of this uh, potential new addition to the Marvel Contest of Champions game. Um, it was pretty much on the cards. Now that I've looked back at the Civil War character list for the Iron and the Blue, uh, right in the center, the character teased on the United We Stand, Divided We Fall is obviously Civil Warrior. It looks looks like it, like it is. Uh, so we should have really known that something like this was, was coming. Um, am I happy that this is in? No, not at all. Uh, I don't see any point. As the bio and the backstory irrelevant. I've been trying to scour online to try and see if there's any information about this character with any kind of uh, comic book history or anything really. I thought this may be some, something that was implemented as an alternative universe um, Civil War or maybe something in Civil War 2. So far my searches have been uh, well in vain. But I did find an interesting article on some concept art for a iron cap. Uh, or Iron Captain America. Very interesting article, so do go and check that out. I will put the link to that uh, with the URL in the description. Um, the concept art is is fantastic. Uh, this was done by, and I want to say this right, Abreu Segundo, and uh, this was something to do with, in conjunction with Comic Con. The article in particular uh, is very popular, um, plenty of shares, and we see this kind of, it looks a bit like the modern Robocop kind of design. So I, I, now I'm looking at Captain Iron, uh, they refer to it as. Uh, yeah, very decent concept. And in some ways they can draw a lot of comparisons between what they've done here and what they've um, put in the game. So, hmm, let's talk a bit about the character. The appearance of the character is still... Well, it's similar to Cap. The issue would be that it's not a full Iron Man suit. It's only a part suit. Top half, uh, torso, arms and head covered by some sort of armour. And then for some reason they skimped on the legs. Unless uh, Steve Rogers has, uh, well, iron legs. So that's a bit silly in any case. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a cool helmet. It's got this kind of... Again, Robocop meets Power Rangers, so there's nothing really kind of interesting about it. I think when it comes to special attacks, we're going to see us being cheated of anything new or fresh. Getting Arc Blast, Repulsor Rush, and Overload, we're probably going to see a rehash of the Iron Man suits, uh, which is a little bit disappointing that there's nothing, nothing going to be anything fresh about the character, um, which, again, is a big bore for me. I'd like to see something new or alternative. But, um, again, is this character worth being put in the game? Is there much point? Well, hardly... It's hard to say. You know, we when, when we started up the Civil War, it said Cosmic Civil War. So what does that necessarily imply? Is that Does that imply that this is meant to exist in the concept of our galaxy? Is this something that's that's cross-world? Is this alternative world? You know, what was the background story behind this? Or what have Kabam created? Something to set this character up based on what we saw to begin with with the character roster for the Iron and the Blue. Who really knows? When looking at the uh, signature abilities, um, the heavy attacks Granting a heal block can be very effective, especially nowadays with the way that people set up their masteries. This can be highly effective for, um, well, taking down taking down the health, um, especially when it pads in with things like power drain uh, and armor. You can really take down uh, enemies quite significantly especially if you pad it with the synergies that the character gets uh, and let's talk about that now his synergies take a very why well, it's a grounded um, back story in that winter soldier falcon he gets guillotine 
I know very strange, but still there must be something that's connected, um, you know, alternate universe. Um, and and then a uh, connection with um, Iron Man and, uh, and Hulkbuster. So it's a very kind of odd mix. It was a half odd and half normal mix of characters. If It would seem very strange if this was meant to be an alternate universe and that obviously would imply that you know, uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon would be associated with him in this alternate universe. So it's all very strange. The buffs that are applied for the synergies, there's a huge emphasis to begin with on, uh, actually throughout, on armour. Now, the character already gets a significant amount of armour, especially having armour 5 being an ability added on. So the character is it's going to be a strong, strong character for defence in any case. But... He gets a 25% crit damage buff, which is highly effective. So this character is going to be more emphasis on defense, but also is going to have a good amount of striking out and hitting very chunky and meaty hits. So that could be a great advantage moving forward. So the bio, it's incoherent and I will read it. There are many rumors about the origin of the mysterious civil warrior. Legend says he is Captain America from an alternate universe, sorry, alternate Earth, ravaged by the Civil War between his own army and Iron Man's forces. On that world, the two heroes mortally wounded each other in the final battle of the war. Steve survived, but Tony didn't, riddled with guilt for the battle's destruction and the death of his former ally at his own hands. He assumed the mantle of the Civil Warrior, adding Tony's arc technology to his Captain America gear. He vowed to use his friend's legacy to stop the senseless conflict from ever happening again. So, does a suit of armor define the define the the person? No. Tony's armor defined him as a person. So that's already so a very kind of hypocritical way of of looking at it, that. Steve Rogers would come around to the thinking that Tony Stark's armor defined him as a person. So therefore, he must do what he did. That's kind of like giving into. That's like saying Tony Tony Stark was right. I I just don't really kind of understand why this character has been implemented within within the game or potentially would be um, added within the game. Um, relevance wise, it's irrelevant. Point wise, it's pointless. My opinion on this, I don't want this character. I think it's utterly pointless. I'd prefer something that uh, would apply for. If this was meant to tie into the time around um, Civil War being released in the cinema, maybe they should have done something for X-Men Apocalypse being released and put some more mutants in for, for X-Men. So I want to know from you guys in the comments below, would you have preferred to have stuff for X-Men Apocalypse released um, or would you have? are you happy with continuing on for another 15 days of uh, Cosmic Civil War? And do you want this character in the game? I mean, you know my opinion. I'm couldn't really give a monkeys if it was in or not but anyway thanks so much for watching this video take thor's hammer smash it down on that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed and i shall catch you on the flip side bye bye oh hello thank you for watching that video subscribe here watch my other material here and get out of my bathroom you dirty rotters prove it does for Danya. Subscribe to Rich the Man. Now where's my fucking money, bitch?